Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss worksheet 11 of subject science which is issued for 29 July 2020. So here we see that Chikyasa, elder sister of Gyan, asks her brother how a compound is formed from elements. Can they be formed by just mixing? the elements together. Then Gyan tells her sister, No Chikyasa Didi, compounds are formed only by chemical reaction of elements. These reactions are governed by certain principles which are called as laws of chemical combination. Here we will learn about two laws of chemical combinations. First, we will see law of conservation of mass. Here, we will understand this better by an example where element A reacts with element B to form compound C. For example, element A is 2 gram and element B is 3 gram. They both react together and form element C of 5 grams. We also see that when element A and element B are added together. They add up to 5 grams and compound C is also of 5 grams which means that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction and this is the first law, law of conservation of mass. Now we will see the other law law of constant proportions law of constant proportions is also known as law of definite proportions we will see an example of ammonia nh3 by decomposition of ammonia we get nitrogen and hydrogen decomposition is the reverse process of composition for example, ammonia is 17 grams, nitrogen is 14 grams, and hydrogen is 3 grams. We see that nitrogen is proportional to hydrogen, that is 14 ratio 3. To understand it in a better way, we will take the first example we took, where element A reacted with element B to form compound C. Here we will magnify compound C and we will see that two atoms of element A and three atoms of element B forms one unit of compound C. If one atom from any one element A or element B is taken away then we will not get element C. We can say that elements in a chemical substance have fixed proportions by mass. So, in a chemical substance, elements are always in a fixed proportion by mass. And this is our second law, law of constant proportions. Now, we will discuss some more examples on law of constant proportions for the formation of water H2O, hydrogen H and oxygen O always reacts in the constant proportion of their masses in the ratio of 1 ratio 8 like 1 gram of hydrogen will always react with 8 gram of oxygen to produce 9 gram of water H2O and 2 gram of hydrogen will react only with 16 gram of oxygen. Whatever be the amount of oxygen is available to produce 18 gram of water. Similarly, the ratio of masses of carbon and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide is 3 ratio 8 and the ratio of nitrogen and hydrogen to produce ammonia 
NH3 is 14 ratio 3. Now we have studied each and everything in today's worksheet and I hope you all understood it very well. Now it's your chance to test your knowledge by attempting the question answer given. If you face any problem while attempting the question answers, then I would recommend you to watch the video again. Thank you.